Well, I'm Bruce Potter. I'm an integrated pest management specialist with the University of Minnesota Extension Service and uh, housed here at the Southwest Research and Outreach Center in Lamberton, Minnesota. Today we're going to take you on a little uh, adventure scouting for soybean cyst nematode. I think it's important that whether you have susceptible beans or are using resistant beans uh, in your rotation to keep an eye on them and look at, uh, look at those beans if you start to see some poor growth or some symptoms of nutrient deficiencies, iron chlorosis or potassium deficiency, for example. Take a look at it. It's not hard. A lot of times you can see them on the roots, but it's important to know if you're, you have nematodes reproducing out there because it's important to work your management plan around uh, the genetics of the nematode as well as the soybeans, up, soybeans in your field. This is a nice healthy root system. Uh, these are SCN resistant beans in this case uh, and that resistance is holding but you can see a few nodules here. We probably have a little bit of excess or residual nitrogen these beans are working off of yet. They've got a so they haven't nodulated real well but notice how thick and white these root systems are. This is actually about as good a looking root system as you'll typically find in southwest Minnesota. Uh, very little scarring from disease and the roots are pretty well developed. Well, sometimes uh, nematodes, uh, soybean cyst nematodes, have uh, very subtle symptoms. Sometimes they're a little more pronounced. And what we've got in the background here are some soybeans that have started to turn yellow. Uh, they've been sprayed uh, with glyphosate, and we've also got a grass herbicide on the corn. Sometimes you get a little yellow flash after you spray beans with glyphosate, uh, but we better check these out and just to determine it, what's causing this yellowing. It could be iron deficiency chlorosis or it could be soybean cyst nematode. All right, another symptom uh, of soybean cyst nematode, in, unlike the uh, plants we saw earlier, which looked a little bit like uh, iron deficiency chlorosis, and in fact they may have had, had, had some of that along with the nematodes, is potassium deficiency symptoms can be caused. And this tends to happen on, on soils that are a little low in potassium. And in this case, you can see the yellowing along the margin of the leaves. Okay, but also you'll notice how uneven these beans are. There's little pockets of, of taller beans, shorter beans, the deficient uh, symptom soybeans. Again, real indicative of soybean cyst nematode. Although they're through the entire row, there's spots where those symptoms are a little bit more pronounced. Okay, it's not uniform as a, as a nutrient deficiency would typically be. Well, one of the things, easiest things to do is if you're suspicious is just grab some soybean plants and start pulling. Uh, if you start grabbing a plant like this and pulling, especially when the soil's dry like it is right here, uh, you're not going to get much of a root system and it's going to be hard to see the nematodes on that root system. A little better way if you don't have a shovel is to grab a couple plants close to each other and wiggle them out of the ground and you'll get a little more root system that way than just pulling but even here uh, even here we've we've busted most of that root system off sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i guess i wouldn't be conf real confident saying there wasn't any nematodes in this on these root systems just because so much of them are broken off one thing you can see is that we've got a little bit of, uh, these roots are starting to look a little dark. Better way to get these nematodes out, and actually if you have a bucket of water, if soils are really tough to get off the root system, but a better way is if you have a shovel with you. And that way you can, you can get a little more of the root system out. Shake, uh, pull these roots out of the, soil. Now <clears throat> you may see nematodes right away but if you shake these roots off a little bit and let them dry then uh, these nematodes become more visible as the as the root system dries out. I'm not exactly sure what the reason for that is but it seems to seems to work consistently. Now if you look at these root systems you can see that they're dark and real fine and they're not a typical white uh, root. We've got some nodules, but they're pretty restricted 
on the root system as to where they're developing. Again, these are symptoms of soybean cyst nematode damage to the roots. All right, these are the root systems we just uh, dug from this field. Uh, what you're going to see is some nodules. Those are good. Uh, we like to see those. But if you look at the root system here and even the bottom half of this root here, that nodulation is very reduced. These root systems are dark, they're very fine, they don't, they're not very robust. And you can see several nematodes on, the, on these roots. Right there, here, here's a, here's a nematode, here's a nematode. These are the bodies of the females that have come out of the root system. Uh, as they come out of the root, they're white. They'll develop, they'll expand as they develop the eggs inside that, that female's body. They'll turn yellow and eventually they'll tan and turn a, a, a light brown color. This kind of can give you an idea where you are at, within a generation of nematodes. There'll be several a, a year, three or four in the southern part of the state as you get up in the Red River Valley, maybe, maybe a generation less just because there's less heat during the summer. But if they're all white, you know you're at the beginning of this of these females emerging from the root system. They've been feeding for a while, but, but you're still early in that generation. They've mated. If they're yellow, you're kind of at the peak and that's about as thick as those nematodes are going to be at that generation. They could be thicker the next generation on the root system. And if you're seeing a few of them in their tan, or if you're not seeing any nematodes on this root system but you suspect them, you can come back in a week or two and reevaluate. The other thing is if you see, if you suspect nematodes and you don't want to wait, is take a soil sample and that'll give you an idea if nematodes are present as well.